So next person I want to bring on is uh, Sunil Chaudhary. So Sunil, let me just see if he's around. Yes, I'm going to make him into a panelist. Okay, so Sunil Chaudhary, uh, with him, with Sunil, he has achieved over uh, 20 lakhs in this business. And he helps uh, people create MSI, multiple streams of income. He's been a diamond member in our community for, again, oh, close to 12 months. So Sunil, congratulations and uh, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Again, long pending. I know you, you applied a long time back. So great to have you here. Namaste, Sids. Thank you very much Namaste. for having me here. You are my yes. guru, you are my coach, and you have changed my life entirely. And I will start yeah. this session with my confession. I will accept my mistake that I have applied only maybe less than 10% of whatever you have taught me. And I have achieved more than 32 lakh rupees till now. If I would have wow. implemented 50% of that, I would have made more than crores. So that's my confession. I'm a very lazy person. And because of my laziness, I could not implement each and everything. But I created the system you taught me. And now that system is keeping me on my toes. That system keeps yes. me awake. They keep asking questions. They keep calling me. They keep sending emails. So I have to address all of them. So this is the power of system. This is the simple thing. How many people do you have in your community, Sunil, as of today? So overall, my community has 12,400 members. Nice. And uh, if I talk about the paid members, they are less than 200. But uh, okay. I keep inviting people. Keep people inviting that you have trained is over 12,000. Okay. This is, and this uh, started after coming to ILH or you've been training even before that? So online thing started after coming to ILH only. And okay. um, I left my job from Bangalore. I was working with Fidelity Investment, one of the top companies in the world. I was working as a business analyst. That was a dream job for many. And I left that because I was not able to spend time with my family, with my parents, with my loved ones. I belong to Aligarh, North India, near Delhi. Nice. So mm. That thing was giving me uncomfortableness that I was not able to spend more time with my family, with my mother. Then I lost my father. Then we lost. I lost my grand, sorry, father-in-law. So that was the pain point for me, and I did not want to continue my job. I thought that I have so much knowledge that I can pursue anything in my city. So I wanted to have that freedom in 2014. So I left my job, mm. started coaching mm. people. I used to teach English and IELTS. Okay, nice. So I started now from, Institute? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I wanted to promote that. I wanted to have more and more students. So I did not want to spend more money on marketing. So I adopted digital marketing. So I created a website. I did SEO. And because my English language skill was good, I could do better SEO than others. So I got okay. uh, awesome results with the help of SEO. Then I got motivated. Then in 2016, I created a company called Just Bajar. That's an SEO okay. company mm -hmm. and business directory. Now it is internationally working and uh, we got amazing results. So that's awesome. And, yeah. And uh, uh, which year did you come into ILH and uh, like what, what was going on in your life at that point? I can see that you had a lot of experience before in the digital space and you know, went from one industry to the next, but when you came into ILH, like which year was it? 2021 or 2020? It was 2021. 2021. But I would like to share okay. a very um, uh, honest story here. In 2020, we had a lockdown, right? We had a yeah. COVID. At that time, in my pocket, I had only 24,000 rupees. And I had mm. to pay 14,000 for hosting for my website. That was business wow. directly. So out of 24, we paid 14,000 for the hosting renewal. That I had nothing, almost nothing. I had to pay rent for coaching, for electricity, for my employees and everything. And that was, I mean, I don't have words how to explain that situation, but we were totally broken in lockdown. So after lockdown, I started searching for a job. I got a job, luckily, that job helped me for 10 months, but I was not made for job. So I left the job again in 2021, in the month of March, before the next COVID, then my mindset was not good at that time. I was looking for uh, how can I steal information from the online world and how mm, can I... Quick money, shortcuts, yeah. Yeah, mm. shortcuts. 
how can I see what Saurabh Jain is doing, Deepak Kankaraj is doing, and everyone is doing, so that I can steal and I can start implementing and I can make quick money. So I joined most of the courses. I, I spent uh, around 2 lakh rupees in that year itself. Then one day, something happened. It was instant. My coach, my earlier coach, referred to your event. I attended that event. It was totally mind-blowing. I don't know. That was awesome thing in my life. And I immediately became silver member. And I started implementing each and everything. And I shared with my wife that this is the thing I wanted to do. This, this is the thing I always wanted to do because I love speaking. I love helping people. And what better platform than this, right? So I shared with my wife. Then we started implementing each and everything. I became Freedom Furniture very quickly, I remember. So I got the T-shirt. I got the bag, certificate. Those were the huge celebrations in my family. So that was a tough time. And I can say that people never believed in me. For, since 2014, I left my job. People never believed in me. But I always believed in myself because my father believed in me. My father always used to call me that, Sunil, you will do some great things in your life. I don't know what, but you will do something great. So I still remember my father. He, he left us in 2010. So it has been like 13 years now. So I have always taken inspiration from my father. And that has been more than enough for me. Amazing. So when you came into the community, I let you were literally you were not having the financial financial capacity and stuff. So tell us, what do you think are the top three things that shifted in you that has helped you cross this 20, 30 lakhs in revenue that you've done? Like, what do you think were the three things that you got? So the first thing that I noticed that people do not have technical skills. They want to become super successful in the online world. So they were facing so many problems, business owners and the people who want to make more money. So basically, I was helping business owners to automate their systems, to create their website, landing pages, to bring them onto the first page of the Google. That was my primary job in 2021. But when I joined you, I started shifting my system to coaching. I started creating the courses. I bought the LMS. I bought one domain. That domain did not work. Then I got another domain, careerbuildingschool.com. That actually worked a little bit. Then I started doing webinar in 2021, September. And okay. I got first admission in the first webinar. So I was very motivated at that time. So that system was working for me. Excellent. Got it. So what you got here was more of uh, the systems knowledge. Even though you had digital marketing skills, but for a coaching business, how do you put it all up? That's what you got. And selling, so you've not you've not done selling before, right? You were only doing one to one selling, or possibly you know getting yes, clients. offline selling and one to one selling. Offline one to one. How yeah. how was that uh, process for you to do one to many webinar selling and stuff? That was, I mean, I was not very comfortable with that. I was finding it. I was nervous. I was not at all comfortable selling in webinar and creating that bundle and trying to lure the people, but. Uh, one day I got your message on society and also got your email. Yeah. Sunil, stop doing, stop thinking and start doing. If you are taking action and your bank balance is not showing that, you are wasting your time. Something like that. The message was there on society. I read it multiple times. Then I decided that I have to follow the system. Uh, I mean, step by step, stick, strictly. Then I started doing it. But uh, Level one was not doing very good for me because I was getting so many requests from the people that we, we need your one to one uh, assistance. Yes. So mm -hmm. my diamond was doing good. I have more than uh, 10 admissions in my diamond and four admissions in my quantum. So I have been busy with the people one to one. So that is That's happened really with me. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So the beautiful thing about your journey is that uh, like you adapted to whatever was you felt was your strength point and then yeah. that, that's how you took it forward so yeah. how does it feel now when it comes to community building and like you have a tribe of now 200 paid members and that probably quite a few who are also in your diamond and quantum so what is that feeling like to wake up every morning to serve them so i feel pressurized in the morning <laughs> that what what is special i can do for my community and i am 
I'm a very fast action taker that you told me that Sunil, you have to create three videos per week. So my average per day is three. So I'm creating Super. almost three videos per day. Uh, when you told that you have to create a podcast, I created multiple podcasts in that week itself. So the one thing is I take action very fast, but there is one weakness that after one or two weeks, something happens and my energy goes down. But when I attend the leadership council, everything comes to uh, the good level. So I keep attending the leadership council and meet and hide. They are um, the primary recharging point for myself. And the same thing yes. I'm trying to implement with my community. I, I'm doing leadership council, the same thing. I'm not doing anything different. Excellent. I have leadership council, Excellent. I have uh, a power meet. Uh, in uh, power meet then i have inner circle then i have hackathon so i am following the step by step process i'm just copying everything i'm not using my mind brilliant that best please do that okay yeah. by all means and, and all of you here watching please uh, copy my system exactly but of course give it your own flavor and you know with your own content and stuff like that that's awesome so tell us uh, Sinil, what would you what advice would you give for people who are watching this who are are probably in the same situation you were in two, three years back, not having the financial resources, broke, but aspiration is there to grow, intention is there to serve. Like what advice would you give them at this stage? So like the people already have given so many advices, but I would say that uh, have a very big goal, that goal that you cannot even believe that, that unbelievable goal should be there. And okay. create a path to that and follow some five to 10 people who are in that sector already. They are 100 times yes. more successful than you. Follow them. After that, have a coach who you search before that, search, finalize the coach. Once you join the coach, surrender yourself 100% and follow the step, follow the process step by step. There is nothing that can stop you because. You cannot take all the steps in a one go. You have to uh, work bit by bit because there is a compound effect. Things will happen yes. and they will go out of the bleed. You will get thousand times more than whatever you can imagine. That is the power of the system. So the only thing is, please go ahead, create the system with your coach. That will do the magic. Awesome, awesome. Great, Sunil. Thank you for sharing. More power to you. Always just type MPTY Thank Sunil. Thank you very much. Very inspiring journey to see how you have bounced back. Uh, and, you know, in spite of all the challenges that you've gone through on your family side, and, uh, you know, you've basically re redefined yourself. And you've proved to the world that you don't have to be in a big metro city or whatever to be successful. You're in your own hometown doing things from there and uh, making multiple lakhs in revenues. See, that's, I'm full time. I'm full time dad. And uh, that's it. Amazing. Amazing. Super Sunil, thank you for uh, inspiring and stick around. We'll bring you back on after this in the Q&A session. Excellent. Okay, good. Now we will move into Q&A. So I'm going to spotlight our six uh, Hall of Fame achievers. So I'll just spotlight all of them one by one for Q&A. But get back to life. So I'll just add Modit right now. And Shweta. Yes. So I've added everyone as a panelist and uh, all of you can take a screenshot if you want, once everybody's here and take a selfie with, if you want. Yes. So I'm going to read out some questions. If you have any questions to any one of uh, our hall of fame uh, members, you can uh, ask the question and then I'll facilitate this. Next, I want to pass it on to Sunil. Sunil question for you. Swapnil has asked, uh, he wants to know the secret. Okay. What is the secret on how you went from freedom finisher to hall of fame? Uh, you can break that down and I'm sure maybe that same question all of you will have if you can maybe simplify it over uh, for him. And another connected question uh, is uh, how do you use uh, all of the technical skills uh, to market yourself, okay, to mobilize the market? That's the question. But of course, you can now talk about it. I think it's interconnected. So yeah, Freedom Finisher to Hall of Fame. Sunil, what's your take? You can unmute and speak, not able to hear you. Sorry for that. I mean, Siddharth can answer all the questions. But still, it's my turn, then I, I'm going to speak. So when I was a Freedom Finisher, after a few months, I was Hall of Fame, but I did not apply that secret. And Nina forced me to apply 
then I applied because the criteria for Hall of Fame is I believe three lakh rupees, but I have earned more than 30, 32 lakh rupees now. So I was already doing high ticketing and I was providing high ticket, uh, sorry, the one to one assistance to the people. And that's how I became uh, Hall of Fame. That's an honest answer. But the thing is that if you just follow the system, just uh, do the webinars on time, uh, decide the time, do it every week on time with complete dedication. And there is nothing that can stop you becoming Hall of Fame or maybe more than that. It's a simple thing. Whatever Siddharth has laid down, that is perfectly working for us. No need to invent anything new. Just follow the system. Right. And uh, to the second thing, I am more passionate about the answering the second question. How do I utilize my technical skills? So I have a very yes. different way of utilizing my thing. Um, it is totally different from the world, whatever being taught in the online world, digital marketing and everything. Nobody is talking about integrated digital marketing. So I am expert in integrated digital marketing, inter integrated digital marketing. And what is that? Let me explain step by step in just a minute. What I do, I simply go ahead and write a blog. The first thing I do is I write a blog. Then I create a video out of that blog. Then what I do, I repurpose the blog. That is called sharing. I share the blog on LinkedIn. I share the blog on medium.com, tumblr.com, in Facebook group, and in Google sites, in Google blogger, then WordPress blogger. So I ultimately get so many backlinks to my blog. That is the one thing. Then I convert the blog into video. Then I do the same thing. I share it on all the possible platforms. Then I create a creative image related to the, that blog. Then I do the same thing again. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes. Sharing, sharing. I'm just talking about sharing. Writing a blog can take so much time. But sharing takes only 20 minutes. But people hesitate in sharing. I don't know why. So just write a blog and share it. And there is a strategy called SEO optimized sharing. Wherever you share your content, there is an option to do the SEO tweak. For example, if you are publishing an image on Facebook, people simply go there, put their content and put their image and post it. But there is one secret. If you click on the image, there is option that comes that called edit. If you click on edit, then there is an option called ALT text that is called SEO power. So if you update that accordingly, related to your post, what is your post about? It will become 10 times or 100 times more powerful. And that gives me organic power. And I spend very less on paid ads and I am getting so many clients, so many students organically because of my SEO tactic. And it's free. Awesome. Mm, awesome. Absolutely. So SEO is something that we should not ignore. Yeah, if your performance marketing is on one side, organic content marketing is on one side and of course seo like content marketing with optimization is another thing all the three tracks need to run parallelly and of course seo is a long-term game it's not like you put money or you put effort now and tomorrow you're going to get it it's going to be something that you build over time but great uh share sunil thank you for sharing thing, yes anything else you want like to share to yeah yes yes uh swapnil has asked that how to achieve 15 lakh in three months that's a question that is pending and yeah i, yeah, I saw that it. yes i want to answer in my words i know Everybody can answer it. I want to answer it in my own words. That you create a system. You stick to your mission. You follow the system. You add value to the people. Money is just a byproduct. It will automatically come to your bank account. You focus on adding value. Money will keep coming. Not only 15 lakhs, maybe 15 crores or maybe more than that.